Tell Guitar Travellers, it's Rowan J Parker and welcome to another episode of Virtuoso Chops and in this week's episode we're going to be focusing on the art of sweep picking and I've got some big old six string sweep arpeggios to share with you which we're going to push up to, you might have guessed, ludicrous tempo. Alright, now before we get into the lesson, I'd encourage you to have a look at my website www.rowanjparker.com without going into massive detail, great site, lots of free resources, you can book Skype lessons through the site, you can buy stuff in the store, you can subscribe to the website, stick your email address in the subscribe box and get even more free stuff, so it's a no brainer. Get over there. Now, without further ado, on with today's lesson, sweet picking goodness, let's rock. Okay, let's get into this and we will begin by showing you the chord progression and all we're doing is playing the major triads of each chord. So here is the chord progression, it's E and then B, D, A, C, G, C and D and then it goes round again, E, B, D, A, C, G, C, D and then it finishes on E at the end. Alright, that's the chord sequence. Let's just look at the arpeggio shapes and the good news is there's really only two to learn. There's this arpeggio shape, ascending major E form, that's how I describe that, and then this one, which is descending major C form, that's how I describe that one. So let's just get into the arps one at a time and I'll give you the verbal tab and the fingering for each one. Alright, so here we go, here's the first arpeggio, E major, it's this one, have a listen. So what we've got is low E 12, 16, D, uh, sorry, A, 14, D 14, G 13, B 12, high E 12, and then high E 16. Now the fingering here I'm using is 1, 4, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1, 4. That's the way I would normally do that. And finger rolling with a third finger on the A and the D, and then also on the B and the high E. All right. Now, in terms of right hand picking, you start with an upstroke. You're gonna go up, down, 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 up. All right, so it is sweet picking, but you have to start with the upstroke. So one up, uh, one up, and then six downs, and then one up, and you've got two beats of semi-quavers. One yanda, two yanda. I hope that's clear. All right, now that's actually the shape you're going to be using on the E chord, the D chord, and the C chord. So it's all the same shape. So once you get the first two shapes down, you pretty much got the exercise, so it's not nearly as difficult to play as it might look. Right, let's look at the descending B major arpeggio. It sounds like this one. All right, now the B major one is high E, 14, 11, then B12, G11, is D13, then A14, and you've got to roll the pinky over to low E14, and then it's low E11. And the digitation here is going to do 4, 1, 2, 1, 3, 4, 4, 1. The tricky thing about this arpeggio is that you're going to have to roll the pinky on the A and low E, and it really doesn't want to do that. The fourth finger is really rubbish at rolling. At least my fourth finger is. But you need to do that, otherwise you'll get a sort of mushy lack of clarity, all right? So we'll work on that finger rolling. I'll actually do a video about finger rolling and sweep picking at some point. All right, so that deals with the first two arpeggios. So let me just put them together and see and have a listen. Oh, I should say, by the way, the picking for the descending arpeggio, the B major arpeggio, is down, up, 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 down. So start with down, six ups, and one down. So it's really just the reverse of the ascending arpeggio, all right? So here we've got the E to the B, let's have a listen. All right, listen again. Ah, I'll give you the picking, why not? We've got up, down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down. All right, that's the first two chords. Now all that's going to happen is that exactly the same two arpeggio shapes are going to repeat down a tone. We've got D and we've got A, and then they're going to repeat down a tone again. C and then G, but because I'm a nice guy, I'm going to go ahead and give you the verbal tab anyway. All right, so for the D major arpeggio, we've got low E 10, 14, A 12, D 12, G 11, B 10, high E 10, high E 14. And then descending down, A major, we've got E 12, E 9, B 10, G 9, D 11, A 12, low E 12, low E 9. And then going up C and down G, the tab will be up the C, will be low E8, 12, and then A, 
10, D10, G9, B8, high E8, and high E12. And then descending down G, we've got E10, E7, and then B8, B7, D9, A10, low E10, low E7. And then to complete the sequence, we've merely got up C and up D. So ascending up the C major arpeggio, low E8, and then 12, A10, D10, G9, B8, high E8, high E12, then down D major, E4, this one. So you've got high E14, high E10, B10, so G11, D12, A12, low E14, and low E10. Alright, that's a lot to think about, alright? But fundamentally, it's really straightforward. So I'll play the entire thing one cycle, super slow, so you can see what I'm doing. Have a listen. All right, now we're going to go around that again. The little variation we're going to do at the end is this one. So on the last E chord, we're going to ascend up this E form, E major arpeggio, so that'll be low E12, 16, A14, D14, G13, B12, high E12, and then up to E16, and then moving up to the next inversion of the E major arpeggio, to descending down its C form. So that will be, and think about this, that will be high E19, and then we've got 16, then B17, and that'll be G16, and then you'll have D18, then A19, A19, uh, low E19, and then you'll have low E16, this is hard to think about so far up the neck, and you're gonna finally finish on A, that'll be 19, the E note. Wow. All right, and the picking is really just the same as the rest, and it goes down, up, 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 up. Let me try that again, down, up, 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 up down, up. Yeah. Wow, that's tough to think about. All right, uh, just to be utterly sure, to make sure my explanation is clear, I'm going to play the entire thing now. Reduce tempo, let's have a listen. Three E and a four E and a. And there we have it. Okay, now if you're panicking about this and thinking this is far too much to learn, I will su supply some tablature for these uh, lessons at the end of the series. So once Virtuoso Chops this, uh, video series has come to an end, I'll supply tab, which you'll be able to download from the website. All right, so now what we're going to do to really try and inspire you is we're going to ramp it up, do the usual thing of starting at a slow tempo and then ramping it up 10 beats a minute at a time until we reach basically the tempo where I'm all going to collapse at, which I don't know what it's going to be today, but we'll find out. So we'll start this off at 80 beats a minute in semi quavers, 10 beats a minute up each time, and just uh, see where the limit is. All right, so if you want to play along, you know, learn the exercise and then prepare to be chopped to death. Off we go. Okay, here we go, 80 BPM, very sedate starting tempo. One, two, three, Okay, 100.
100 BPM, off we go. One, two, three, four. How's it gonna go? 170, let's find out. Okay, we're going to make this the last one, 180. Let's see if we can pull out the bag. One, two, three. <laughs> Feel I could keep going to 190 200, but I just don't think the articulation would be that good, so we'll call it quits at 180. I think that was probably good enough. 
All right, just to wrap up to do. Well, that does it for this episode. Quite complex and difficult, I know, and especially challenging to reach the final Temple 182. Do persevere with it. I'm sure you will get it. If you want to learn more about sweet picking, then visit my website store and look for a video called Don't Fear the Sweeper, a three-hour smorgasbord of all things sweep related. All right, just remind you to have a look at the website, subscribe, and uh, you can hit me up for Skype lessons. If you're interested, I'll help you out. All right, till then, farewell, and I'll catch you next time for another episode of Virtuoso Chops. Till then. Farewell.